I'm here in my Premiere, where I prepared a sequence and I have a logo here, which I want to show the effect on. First thing I'm going to do is drag my logo down here to create a new sequence, which fits the dimensions of the logo. I'm going to go into this newly created sequence, sequence settings and double the Y coordinate to 2000 and then just hit OK. I'm going to change the Y coordinate here, 500. I'm going to duplicate this layer here and change it to 1500 of the duplicated layer. Then I'm going to search for an effect called vertical flip and apply that to our top layer. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called crop and apply that as well. I'm going to crop from the bottom here. Let's do 95. And I'm going to give it a lot of feather to make this look like a reflection. So something like this. Let's just extend these a little bit so we have something to work with. I'm going to close this sequence and I'm back here in my regular sequence. I'm going to start by creating a color matte background. And I'm just going to make it white. And just apply that to our sequence. Next up, I'm going to apply our old sequence on top, like so. If it is too big, just scale it down a little bit. All right. Time to create some animations. I'm going to search for an effect called basic 3D and apply that. I'm going to start the animation at negative 90 degree swivel. Then I'm going to apply some keyframes. I'm going to go forward a little bit, maybe 25 frames or so. And change this to something like this. So we have this thing going on here. And then forward a little bit more and then have it come back. So we have this thing going on. Next up, I'm going to open my keyframes here. Have this one ease out, this one ease in. And I want to kind of speed ramp this one just so we can uh, get a more smooth transition. Something like this, maybe. I feel like this one is maybe too slow. Feel free to just play around with the keyframes here. This is not an exact science. Next up, I'm gonna fake some motion blur, just with the directional blur. Change the direction to 90. Put the keyframes to 20. So here in the middle, where the speed is taking off, I'm gonna put this one to keyframe, and then go to where the speed is completely stopped, 20. Go to the middle here, put it up to five, and put it back to zero here. So we just get some motion blur. And that looks pretty nice. But that was all I had for this tutorial. Take care, guys.